Hello. The live streaming of ISPNO 2020 has been successfully completed. We want to thank all invited speakers for giving live lectures and all of you for joining us and tuning in. However, ISPNO 2020 is far from over. We are very pleased to tell you that keynote lectures, special lectures, forums, and symposiums will be available in the on-demand program from January the 8th, 2021. You can watch them anytime you wish until February the 13th. We are going to show you a sneak preview of some of the most fantastic lectures. If you wish to watch them all, please register for virtual meeting through our homepage. So molecular pathway and therapeutic opportunity in the IPG. I have no disclosure except that I always feel that, you know, we're going from the ice age to the stone age with this and that it's not translating to the bedside. And really, I would like it to translate even faster than light. And I'm hoping this will happen. I'm very proud to say that uh, what I'm gonna be telling you about the honcohistones have been selected by nature as one of the milestones during the last 20 years in cancer. So I've been asked to talk about high-grade glioma in children, which I think in this context means non-midline tumors. If we think about these cerebral hemispheric tumors, there's really a lot of detail covered in these plots in terms of diverse locations within that compartment in which these tumors can arise, uh, very differing clinical outcomes, a wide range of ages at which they can occur, which really reflects, reflects the distinct biology of some of these tumors and their distinct developmental origins. We spent a lot of time over the last few years putting together large retrospective cohorts as well as prospective studies like those attached to the Herbie clinical trial. Put a special tie today because this is Canada Day in the winter uh, with five consecutive speakers from Canada. Thank you for the organizer for having this special Canadian session which really illustrates the commitment of Canadian researcher in pediatric brain tumors. Thank you also for inviting me to give a talk on pediatric low-grade glioma. You already heard a lot about low-grade glioma, so I will try to... Uh, to give this plenary presentation on Medulo, and actually Paul has set, set this talk up so beautifully, and actually we want to demonstrate to you how Paul and Giles and I, we play together and uh, move the field forward. So. The title of my talk is Medulloblastoma Biology Informs Clinical Outcome. These are my disclosures. And what I'd like to cover in the next 20 minutes is just to... Please also look at the forum on cerebellar mutism, an important problem in pediatric neuro-oncology. So best wishes from Liverpool. Stay well. Cheers. I can tell you that uh, it's such a great honor to host a special session on cerebellar mutism at this prestigious meeting. I think we have a few minutes for discussion or Q&A time. Okay, uh, thank you, Rio, and uh, thanks everyone for bearing with us. I hope you found it helpful. We've got a few questions in the uh, chat.